kick back, unwind, and enjoy rare find. Today, we have 13 rare finds. First up, we have this beautiful baby. And this is a Sony uh, AVC 3250 and it's a CRT, but that's what you're looking at because you're supposed to be filming from right here. This is a camcorder, like an old one, obviously, and I need to unscrew this and attach the lens. And then you're supposed to be watching your movies through here. So, um, can we play Battle Tubes on this? Well, I think that we can because this right here. Can you see this down here? It's called a DIN connector, D-I-N, and it has six pins. Well, this one does, and I was reading online, and apparently you can switch. It's an output, but if you switch this button right here to EXT, it serves as an input. So possibly, maybe in the future, we can get battle tubes to show up on this. Look how long this CRT is. This is a whole CRT. On this long CRT, yeah, it's going to be a great episode, but yeah, i got to find the, I have to get a converter, like a composite to DIN connector, 6-pin, or RF to 6-pin DIN connector. A little hard to come by. Next up, we have a brand new, never opened. Kirocera, Kirocera, however you say that, and it's uh, from 2003. It's the K7 Rave, and I had one. My first cell phone was similar to this, but it was longer, and it was from the end of 2002, I believe. I mean, look at her. She likes this phone, and it says, look at this at the bottom, your exclusive connection to MTV. Mm. So I thought that was pretty cool, not trying to start a cell phone, like really early cell phone collection, but unopened. And it was only, uh, I think it was seven bucks. I'll take it. Next up, a WWE program book. And I'm not sure exactly what program it's from. It has WrestleMania 18 in here, like the picture of the stadium. WrestleMania 18, I meant WrestleMania 34 from 2018. It's got that. It's mostly pictures of all the superstars. We have some Brock Lesnar and we have some Roman Reigns. The Phenoms in here. There's all there's a lot of there's a lot of pages with a lot of pictures. Yeah but it's from 2018 so maybe it's for all all the events that year and they put the little slip in there so you knew what was on the card when you got to the event or maybe this was sold on the newsstands. I don't know. Got a pretty cool wrestling piece of history. Okay, next up we got four Blockbuster DVD rentals to add to my growing giant Blockbuster DVD rental collection. Whoa. First up is a new release, two day rental. It's for Phantom of the Opera from 2004 with Gerard Butler. I have never seen that and I don't really plan to watch it. Here's a pretty cool rare find. It's for a game, Wii Quantum of Solace. Okay, but it's a five day game rental and this is pretty cool. Never have I found another. I don't think I found another Wii rental game before. Yeah, it's got the Blockbuster logo and first-person shooter game. I saw some of it on YouTube. Looks pretty cool. Next up, another new release. 2D rental and it's for In Good Company. Never widescreen. Never seen it and I don't think I will watch it. <laughs> And then the last one is a Take This Box to Rent movie, and it's for the Blue Collar Comedy Tour movie. I have no idea what that is. Not a huge fan of the comedy movies, so will I watch it? I don't know. Last but not least, we have the VHS tapes. If you're a VHS hunter or collector, this is the part for you.
in those Goodwill outlet bins, I found three music tapes and they're pretty cool and they're actually pretty old as well from the 80s. All of them. Let's check it out. First one is called Picture Music, like uh, like a music video. Uh, did that term exist? This is from 1980. 1984 this came out. I'm pretty sure they were calling them music videos. Anyway, I think the front is faded. Like you can see how this is kind of halfway faded. I think this was in the sunlight. It's from a video store. It's from, I already forget, Video Paradise. Hmm. And it calls it a musical, which I guess is kind of accurate. I've probably seen all these music videos before, but I'm looking forward to watching it on the VHS tape. There's probably some extra stuff and 80s vibes all over the place. And here's the list of stuff going on if you want to screenshot it and check it out. Next music tape is Metallica, Cliff Em All. And this is from the 80s as well, back when Cliff Burton was with them. 1987, this one. Uh, I love old Metallica, so looking forward to watching this. Next one is a really old... CBS Fox, The Who, uh, Who Rocks America, 1982 American Tour. This tape is from 1983. It's got a big old rip on there. Probably there was a, a plastic hang tab up there and they just kind of ripped it off. And yeah, makes sense. But kind of a bummer now, but this is pretty cool. This was actually a rental. A rental that I, uh, all the signs are gone now except for that one. Please be kind of rewind. Sticker. Why is this not, why is this not fit back in here? Okay, last three tapes. First movie is Kentucky Fried Movie. I've never heard of this movie before and uh, I, that's probably a bad thing. It says it's a cult classic. I've never heard it even mentioned once in my entire life. Look at this uh, CRT though, this beautiful baby on the back. Oh yeah, that's why it was a cult classic, I'm sure. Next up, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, and it's sealed. It's for the sealed collection. Uh, it looks like it's sealed, but then I have this one. Scary Movie, and this one is also sealed for the sealed collection, but it says previously viewed movie, but it's sealed, so that's a resale? Hmm, I guess they got me on that one, so is this a resale too? It's from the same person? Probably. Well, that's it, and remember, like Indiana Holmes always says, Keep up the grind, and you get a rare find.